Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to Season 1, Episode 4 of Hannibal. I'm very excited to get back to this show. I'm loving it so far. But before we do, as always, if you like this channel and you want to support my videos, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, press the subscribe button down below, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified right away when new videos are uploaded. Other than that, um, yeah, I don't know what to say. This show is great. Acting's fantastic. Writing's fantastic. I have no idea what's going on at the same time at... But I'm loving it somehow, and I'm very curious to figure out what's going to happen, and I have no idea what's going to happen, honestly. Definitely with the last episode, it was crazy. <sighs> with, um, God, I can't think of a name. The, the daughter of the girl. <sighs> and Hannibal. Oh, this is messy, and I love it. <laughs> okay, let's just get into this, you guys. Here we go. How do you feel seeing Marisha Shaw impaled in his arms alone? Why is he making him relive all this right now? It's very curious. I know, like, sometimes that's kind of helpful. But for some reason, I don't feel like he's trying to help Will there. Because I felt like... Oh, God. Ew. The fuck? Oh, that is so gross. The food. Oh, my God. Someone came in and shot them in the head. Like, that's harsh. Obviously, with the exception of Mrs. Turner, who dies last, this is my design. It means the killer has the connection to the mom. shoot Mrs. Turner. Is he just trying to get into a look more into Will's mind going around his place? Was that so creepy? Something about that really just made my stomach turn. It has something. This whole killing has something to do with the missing son. Then isolation can suck just as much. You have to find someone to relate to. Honestly, I'm with Abigail. Isolation is way more fun than being in a group. In my opinion, I prefer being in isolation. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. I really do like her. Uh, Doctor, gosh, I already forgot her name. Sorry. Doctor Bloom. I like her. I don't know her first name yet. Abigail's in no condition to tackle real world issues like where she's gonna live. Suggesting abandonment. Well, this is a girl who what is, is it? Abigail gonna go live with Hannibal? I like when these two have I'm scenes together. Doctor Blaine and Hannibal. It's just really interesting. Show my sisters just to get him out of the bath. Why'd you say that? Family friction is usually a catalyst for personality development. Damn, I'm he's an oldest, asshole. So all the friction rolled downhill. What am I about to put in my mouth? Rabbit. You should have hopped faster. Is it rabbit? Is no, rabbit. is it? Oh. Oh, so we know it's not. Okay, he is not in a good mood. What is going on? Go to provide an education, Jack. We found a match to a set of prints we pulled from the Turner home. They belong to a 13 year old boy from Weston, Virginia. What? His name is Connor Frist. Another kid. Another missing kid. What? So there's missing ago, kids killing the, the family? Solved. What? Oh, Reston, Virginia. I don't live far from Reston. I used to live right near Reston, actually. Yeah, definitely crime scene here. I think it's the... I don't know what is going on. It's like these teenagers. Oh! Oh, it's what's her name? I love her. Don't be sad about What? The family you're born into isn't really family. 
This woman has kidnapped these kids and making them kill their own families? What? What happened to your family if it is to say goodbye? Because we're your family now, Christopher. You can only have one family. She's crazy. She's crazy. Oh, no. I've made arrangements. You could say I'm one of your guardians. Where are we going? Oh, my home. Yep, he's, he's taking her in. She's becoming his protege. Oh, God. Can I spend the night? You only have to lie about one thing. And when you're with me, you don't have to lie about anything. In a dream, I wonder how I could live with myself. He's purposely making it so she... He's the only one that she can rely on and talk to honestly. It's very manipulative and it's amazing. My dad killed girls at all the schools I applied to. Perhaps I can wait then. Yeah. Maybe we all know. Capture bonding. Capture bonding. Capture Yeah. You don't. Feel breakfast. It's, yeah, it's very logical. It's a true, real thing. Clouds wash over you. Through you. Let me be your guide. Oh, God. He's really just not only messing with her mind, but now he's put on drugs and now messing with her mind. Like, molds him into the way he wants. The seven's bank. Yeah. Last. Yeah, this is psychotic. I'm so intrigued by all this. I can't. Sorry if I'm not speaking that much, but I'm just so intrigued by everything. There's. Ooh. Where's the woman, though? That was a great shot. These kids are gonna need some serious therapy. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to talk to a lot of people about it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. It would take my patient. My patient. I'm not a professional scold. Don't put me in this position ever again. Damn. Dr. Bloom is not happy. I'm sorry. Rude. Yeah. Shockingly rude. rude. Yeah, I know, right? To be upset with me, I overstepped my bounds. You were right. Often am. Have to be more specific. <laughs> I really like that. She wasn't ready to leave the hospital. She uh, experienced a bit of anxiety, so I gave her a certain value, but she may be a little hazy. She is such a bullshitter. Hi, Dr. Blue. Hello, Abigail. You were expecting me? Yeah, he was. He knew, he's been, he planned this out to the T. Sorry, Dr. Bloom, I like you, but... He's in a different league of spots. He's leveled beyond you. Oh. Oh. He did this on purpose. Get her there, make it look like father, mother, eel. It's Gina Torres! Oh! Oh, I love Gina Torres! She's amazing! Firefly and now on 9 Lone Star. I love her. Okay, so this is not a great marriage here. You can tell that already. Poor Jack.
Well, 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 well. This was a good episode, you guys. Really good. Oh, the show is just so good. Like, this show is just on another level when it comes to certain things. Like, I honestly was just, I think, don't think I talked this that much this episode because I was just so entranced at what was happening. Oh my god, notebook just keeps falling. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, so let me just go through my notes. I have found myself, like, spacing out for, like, five, ten minutes, and then suddenly I'm like, ooh, I forgot to take notes. I have forgotten to say anything. <laughs> and then I've had to rewrite my notes on what I was thinking for the rest of this. But, um, let's go to the... There's all, oh, so much good stuff happened in this episode. Like, there, basically we had some ther a lot of therapy this episode. It was, like, therapy galore. Like, this is a show made for therapists, I feel like. To study, like... If you're in school for ther to become like a therapist, this is the show to watch, to learn a few things, and to not learn a few things. It is crazy. The therapy between Hannibal and Will is just the dynamic that the, mm, the dynamic between the two of them is amazing. It's creepy. You can tell the friends and they trust each other, but there's like a weird little underlying like mm, don't really completely trust you kind of thing going on, and I love it. And then we have, um, Hannibal went to Will's house, too, this episode, and it turns out he was invited, he was feeding, to feed the dogs and everything, but he kind of, like, looked around the house, and was really just, I don't know, he's very weird. Hannibal's just so weird, he doesn't even have to say anything, he just walks around and looks at stuff, and I'm just creeped out. Ooh. He makes my skin crawl a little bit, <laughs> and I kind of like it, though. <laughs> Okay, and then we also have this, the killer of the episode, the killer of the week kind of thing. And that's this, um, the Lost Boys and the killer family kind of thing where this woman is kidnapping children, the middle children who are, like, kind of lost in the family. No one really, he does, they don't think they belong in the family. I don't know how she figures that out and which boys to go to, but she finds them. And kidnap, kidnaps them and convinces them that she's their true mom and it. She loves them a lot, and then she keeps getting them, and then they go and kill their own families after being abducted for a year. It's just weird. It's creepy. It is so bizarre. It's so manipulative. And the actress that played the mom, I love her, and I've seen her a lot of comedies. I've never seen her in this kind of role. It's just good. She, she creeped me out. I wish, I kind of wish that we didn't really see much of her. I feel like she just got killed off. Or maybe she's not dead. Hopefully she's not dead, because I kind of want to see a little bit more of her. Because there's very interesting, everything about the kill of the week this week was really interesting. Okay, and we had, um, Dr. Bloom and Hannibal. Their dynamic is interesting. They're like, opposite sides of the same coin. She's, has her own way in therapy, he has his own way, and she's... Honestly, good and trying to do good things, trying to help Abigail and all. But Hannibal is a twisting and turning. He's just, I love Dr. Bloom, but Hannibal is just so many steps ahead of her and levels ahead of her that she can't compete. He is playing mind game after mind game. Everything he's doing with Abigail this episode, like, it is nuts. He's manipulating her and kind of making it so she seems like he's. She's becoming his protege, but at the same time, he's making it so he's the only one that she 100% like trusts and can tell the truth with, because everything that happened last episode, she can't tell anyone what happened except for him, which gives them this weird connection that he can use, and it's amazing. And, um, and then the fact that he gave her mushrooms I found was really weird. I don't really know what the big purpose of that was, I don't know, at least not yet. And how she ended up seeing her parents. And it's like Hannibal planned on her having the mushrooms. Planned on Dr. Bloom finding out that she'd come to stay with him. Planning on her coming, food being ready, sit at the table. And having the same food that she Abigail had with her last food she had with her parents before they died. It is so manipulative. It's so genius. I gotta give him credit for it. Like, Wow. And honestly, this whole episode was just a therapy session. It was just so much therapy. It was so good, though. Uh, I loved it. 
And we get to see a little bit of Gina Torres at the end. That's um, Jack's wife. I hope we see more of her because I love the actress. I don't know what she would really do in this show, honestly, as being the wife of Jack. But I don't care. I love her. I'll watch anything she's in. I love her. Um, it was a good episode, though. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen, how this manipulation is going to work out. I don't know. I have a feeling Abigail's not surviving the season, but I don't know. We didn't see Freddy this episode, so I don't know what's going on with her. Probably nothing good. <laughs> but yeah, great episode, you guys. Thank you guys for watching so much. I can't wait to watch the next episode. But as always, if you like this video and want to support my channel and see more videos and reactions to Hannibal, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, press that subscribe button down below, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified right away when new videos are uploaded. Also, other than that, all doing that stuff, you know, easy, press that button down there, press those buttons, quick and easy. You can also go in the comment section down below, comment what you thought about this episode, um, something I said, agree, disagree, favorite parts of this episode, least favorite parts, again, don't spoil, because I don't like spoils, but yeah, comment, say hi if you want to, just say hi and I'll say hi back, that's it. Okay, thank you guys for watching, it's late, I need to still react a little bit more tonight, so thank you and good night. I guess not good night. It could be day for you guys watching this. This comes out usually at like 2 o'clock, so it's afternoon. And depending on where you are, it could be morning, it could be night. So really just <laughs> enjoy. Bye.